Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. Right, I have a small digression this morning. Yes, it's supposed to be KS Craft and we are going back to KS Craft tomorrow but I got a small haul, a personal haul and I wanted to share it because I find increasingly if I don't show it when I've got it I don't show it so I'm going to share and then we'll go back to KS Craft tomorrow so first up let's grab the bag and you can't really tell what it is but <laughs> I know what it is it's a 3D lantern and all links are below so you'll be able to go onto the pages and see exactly what they look like so I'm really looking forward to doing this and I should have time to delve into my personal haul in the next couple of weeks and I'll be able to make some of these so that is a three-dimensional lantern and it also comes with a uh, little holly sprig and berries so that's my first one and I'm guesstimating and I have looked at it with a ruler and my estimation is that it's going to make a three and a half by two and a half lantern when it's done and should hold a tea light so you can see the base there where the tea light goes in I've put my finger there it looks you know quite sufficient for a tea light so that's my first one just to confuse you and then next up I did actually dash off and cut this one out and I got myself quite a few bits of lace because I do love them so I'll I'll do quick measurements as I go along and we are at oh let's have a look I like to do the cut lines at six and three quarter inches isn't it gorgeous and I had to run and cut it out because I just think it's absolutely fabulous look at that isn't that wonderful oh yes well you know me and my lacy bits I just love them so I did manage to cut that one out I also got myself uh, a little embossed sentiment strip die set I'm going to hold that in my hands there you go so you can you know cut little images out or stampy sentiments on there or even stick sentiments on but I just think it's really sweet really love those so let's have a look here I guess you could call them ribbon banners couldn't you just shy of three and a half inches and that one is I believe a little bit smaller three and one eighth so I got myself that and I love apertures and I'm just mooching through because I know that I've got two and I did get them at the same time that I got some tags now I did use these tags when I was doing my mango crafts a couple of weeks ago but I didn't get to share them properly and I do like kind of like raggedy edge stuff so now that I've got them I can do a proper measurement and that's four and five eighths of an inch so they are a lovely size and if you remember that mango crafts video I've still got these in my box on my table and that's what I made with them so you can see what they look like and I just used the largest one but I just absolutely love them so I've got a chance to show you those now because they were part of a haul and I also got some apertures because I love things like this for cutting out into tags and what they do is these will cut the hole in the tag but leave the little critter inside and there we've got reindeer baby deer and we've got a tree so although these are kind of like Christmassy that one can be spring and that can be any season because you can decorate your little tree up so I got those and I think these are about an inch but they're they're an odd shape if you know what I mean that's one and sixteenth I'll just call them an inch because you can't be accurate with wibbly wobblies so I got myself those and I got another set of apertures which will cut out a snowflake a star and a little tree and of course that star can be used for birthdays and that tree can also be used for like autumn cards and a I think these are pretty much the same size and just shy of an inch yeah just a little bit smaller than an inch but if you know what I mean you can kind of like cut them out into your tag so that you can do things like that or of course your cards so I got myself those 
and then I got myself more lace which is kind of like in this set and I got this one and then this one measured the same size so I got this one and when I saw them I thought they can be the trimmings on a square envelope or I can bring them down when I do them and make an envelope that's got a fancy flap and I just thought that would be great like for mini albums or just for decorating up envelopes that you want to look really posh. And I believe they are the same size. Yes, they are. The flap is just slightly smaller. But I just, you know, just look at the detail in those. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if you're somebody who likes to poke out, you know, <laughs> this is going to be the one for you. So if I do a measurement here... I'm doing the cut line it's just shy of five and a quarter and then this one is just shy of five and three eighths but aren't they glorious oh just so pretty and I went lacy again and this time I got a doily edge so this will cut an edge and you know leave it attached to the cards because if we look here there you go it doesn't cut out on that section but it does cut out up here so whether you want to trim the edge of a page or the edge of a card or the edge of a pocket that is just absolutely glorious don't know how many times i've said glorious i may switch to gorgeous and that is just over six and a half inches just really lovely and while i'm in my lacy i'll carry on mooching about for my lace bits and these two are the last bits and I've got myself two doilies which kind of tie in with those and this is a really unusual shape and I do love doilies because they make great backgrounds you can trim them down of course you can put cute critters or flowers or anything or if you've got someone special and you've got a really special cupcake for a birthday or something, then you can just cut one out and stand the cupcake on it and it's just going to look wonderful. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, yeah. Let's measure. So, going along here. Cut line to cut line. Three and a half inches on that one. And going cut line to cut line here, it's just a fraction over four inches on that one. But they're just glorious. You could turn those into Christmas decorations as well. Right, next up, I'm mooching for the smallest one so I don't lose it. I got myself a little set of words, and that says Christmas, love, joy, and peace. So they're connected, as you can see, and that's connected. The X to the mus. You can probably see it better that way around. But they're just a really sweet size. And I think peace is the longest word. So let's have a look there. We are at one and... Oh, I'm going to say five eighths. So just a really cute size for putting on cards and memdexes. And getting up to all sorts. And then I got myself this one, which if you, you know you forget to put your twine or what have you on the table, or you're not really good at tying a bow, and then you've got um, this wonderful little bit here that can be like your um, oh what's it called wax seal. So that's just a really great set. You can use up all scraps of pattern paper or anything that you want. And the size of that is six and five eighths, which is just over six and a half inches. So there's plenty there to be able to trim them down and use them either on a slim line or on a regular card. You could even put these on top of a gift. So if you haven't got a bow, you've got something, you know, real quick to use. And then next up, me in my garden. Yes, here we go. So I've got this little basket that comes with two little plant pots. You get all the foliage. You've got um, a label that can go onto the front of your basket. And there's also, look at that, little plant steak, which has got a heart in it. I just absolutely love that. 
you don't have to have plants coming out of your pots if you've got little rabbit stickers or you know little puffy stickers with a little rabbit or a little baby chick or anything like that for easter and you can put whatever flowers you want you can put fruit and vegetables in there it doesn't have to be flowers and it doesn't have to be the pots that come with it but those two pots do fit inside of that basket so if i do a quick measure on this one that is two and three quarter inches isn't it gorgeous oh i love that garden journaly spring summer or even autumn and then i've got another little pot and this one comes with a nice little bit of dirt yeah and we've also got um a stake and we've also got another little name tag so you can have all your little seeds seedlings all coming up in a little row but that dirt yes gotta have some dirt will also fit into these pots so i really like that because you've got to have some dirt haven't you i think it probably goes that way around but you can do it whatever way around you want so i've got this one and of course the pot is the biggest bit so measuring that i'm going to say one and a quarter inches so I've got that and then I've got myself two sets of stamps which are actually Globlin stamps and they're available on AliExpress and I've got the snowman faces and I believe you get 24, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, yes 24, you get 24 faces. So I'm just going to move those up slowly. Aren't they great? Great for uh, Florida weather and that one as well looking very cool you've got lovely little hearts and stuff for the eyes but if you all you've got is a, a circle die or a round punch just punch out a circle and stamp a little face really quick and easy oh just absolutely love that you could have a bunch of snowballs couldn't you all stacked up on a card with different faces on them so really cute and measuring these that come on there they're little squares here they are seven eighths of an inch and an inch the other direction so just really cute lots of great expressions and also Globland I got myself this one which is all mushrooms we've got days and dates here got another little frame here and then you've got separate date stamps you've got a, a little figure stamp mushroom don't know what the other words say my heart uh, champignons which is french for mushrooms oh yeah i know that one got the word magic although i don't particularly want to partake of those and then just lovely little elements that you can pop onto the edges of tags and cards just really lovely i don't know what that says let's go close you are in my thoughts I really appreciate all you do can't read the rest of it but clearly it does say something and then we've got a date stamp there of the 3rd of November 1965 I smile when I think of you whatever the season so it does say something but if I put my finger there you can see how tiny it is so yeah love them right i thank you so much for joining me today i hope you have an absolutely awesome day back with ks craft tomorrow and as usual all links below bye